The only man you'll miss is the man you wish he was. Turn left. Thank you. Hi, Courageous Ones. It's day eight of the vlog every day in April challenge. After yesterday's vlog where I basically made a video about living a better life by going back to sleep, I was inspired by so many of the supportive and encouraging comments I got from you guys. A shout out to Simple and Savored, Sukum Haim, Common Sense Mamita, Atomic Lola, and Artistic Expressions Elizabeth. Are you getting dirty looks? I'm really grateful because it reminded me of something that I learned learned a long time ago, but don't practice much because it's like I have amnesia for this kind of stuff. What I wanted to talk about today is why it's really important for us to love ourselves instead of dumping that responsibility on someone else. So a few years ago, I was going through a breakup, laying on my bed, staring at the ceiling with the usual back and forth. Should I go back to him? Should I break up? No, I don't want to get back with him. Maybe there's he's really awesome and I'm just too blind to see it. You know, that kind of thing. I got a great idea. Why don't I just go out and find somebody else? Brilliant, right? And then I thought of something that someone very intelligent told me once, which is water seeks its own level. What does that mean? It's basically a metaphor for th something like you attract who you are or you're attracted to who you are. Like that saying, birds of a feather flock together. Tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Am I the only one who's heard of that? So that means if I go out and find somebody new next week, he's probably gonna be similar to the guy I just broke up with. So why don't I just go back to the guy I just broke up with? Okay, that's not gonna work. Going out to get someone next week is not gonna work. So what is this thing that all these relationships have in common? Me. Obviously, obviously. And what did all these guys have in common that I was attracted to? They were nicer to me than I was to myself. Yes, that's the truth. The painful truth. So being nicer to me than I am to myself actually isn't that difficult to do. So I realized if I wanted a better quality relationship, I was gonna have to be nicer to myself than I have been. Here's the logic. In order to be nicer to myself, I was just gonna have to love myself more. How was I gonna do that? It's just so cliche, love yourself. I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them, it's so, yeah, it's, it's very, it's annoying. Love myself, what does that even mean? Then I remembered a quote that I had read a long time ago. The greatest love affair you will ever have is with yourself. Huh, but love affairs? Like how did I fall for these guys in the first place? They courted me, it started with courtship. If I was able to fall in love with total strangers just by being courted, I should be able to fall in love with myself by doing the same thing, right? Why not? So in order to court myself, I wrote a list of all the things that I would like someone to do for me. He compliments me. Hey beautiful. He listens attentively and asks follow-up questions. He shows interest and support in what's important to me. He only has eyes for me and puts me above all other women. He certainly doesn't compare me with them. Plus he enjoys spending time with me just because. He's encouraging and thinks my ideas are fantastic. And he tries to make my life easier, not more difficult. And that list became everything I needed to do for myself. Yes, court myself. I had to say things like, good morning beautiful in the mirror when I woke up. Let's face it, if some guy said to me the things that I thought about myself in the morning, I would kick his ass so far out of my life. So then why is it okay for me to be mean to myself in the morning? It's not. If I actually do these things for myself, it's not gonna be that easy for some guy to win me over next time just because he's nice. Am I looking to get into a relationship or am I just using someone to give me something that I'm not taking responsibility to give myself? I have no idea if I've made any sense. But my point is, if I love myself this much, a guy only has to love me or himself this much in order for me to think I'm so lucky. But, and this isn't only for the ladies, this applies to the guys too. If I love myself this much and the same guy comes along and loves me this much, am I gonna wanna be with him? I don't think so. Would you? You gotta admit, this is a better story. I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you got something out of it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you might have learned from a relationship about self-love. Either one that broke up or one that's going on now. Bye guys, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.